my mom really wants me to do a novella. She's like, Yvette, you should go to Mexico. Go to Mexico and do your novella. You'll get really recognized over there. And I'm like, okay, mom, I'll tell my agents right away. Stay down. I don't want to hurt you anymore. One of the things I enjoy about playing Yolanda Montez is the superhero fact, 100% that I get to be a superhero. <laughs> Being able to play one of the first Latina superheroes on television, that is so special. I get to be that superhero that I never saw growing up on screen, you know? So it's really, really special and I'm super proud and I hope I'm doing a good job because I know, I know that. I know that that's, there's very few and far between with us. And I'm hoping that as we as we go on, people will incorporate more Latinas in in the superhero realm. And you know, I think we're we're making a little bit of progress right now. So, so yeah, it's very special. I don't know if I deserve to be Wildcat. Like Ted Grant would never do what I did. So my cultural identity is Mexican Chilean. My mom is 100% Mexican. My dad is 100% Chilean. I grew up very Catholic. We went to church every Sunday. I did my first communion. We come from a big family, big family gatherings as I was growing up. Yeah, so watching myself on screen, I would say it was when I was younger, I would watch uh, telenovelas with my mom. And uh, there's this show specifically, Amigas y, y Rivales. Amigas y Rivales, it was like the best show. My mom and I would watch it religiously. And um, yeah, Angelica Vale, she was one of my favorite actresses. She was in like every novella. And, uh, but I guess as I grew a little bit older, um, Miranda and Lizzie McGuire, that was my favorite show also. And Selena Gomez and Wizards, that's when I really saw myself and I was like, I think I might be able to do this. You know, I, I saw a couple people looking like me, so it felt, it felt possible. So that means it's on me. I'm gonna have to kill Eclipso to save the rest of you. I'm gonna have to be the JSA member that kills. The advice I would give to up and coming actors or people that are interested in the arts is to surround themselves with people who, who are interested in the same thing. You know, I was going to school in a conservatory for two years, five days a week, four hours a day, surrounded by other actors, surrounded by other people who had the same goal, the same, you know, we were all reaching for the same thing. So it it didn't feel like I was being judged. And I think that's so important because to a lot of people, this can seem like a really far stretch. Like, oh, that's impossible. You wanna be an actor? Okay, yeah, join the rest of everyone in LA, right? But when you're surrounding yourself by people who have good intentions, who are rooting for you and are all there, they're all there to like do the same thing. It it makes it feel like it's possible. And I really do feel like that's why I'm, I am where I am because I was surrounded by such a supportive group. And my mom was really supportive too. And my dad was so, that's my advice. Surround yourself around people who really support you and really believe in you because that is so important.